My name is Nella Novi and I'm Patricia Chu's, well, step granddaughter to be exact. My dad is her stepson and um, I've come here just to see her work uh, close up really. We didn't know about it until uh, we were contacted. Um, uh, she never told us anything about her murals, so to come and see them has been, um, yeah, amazing. It's a really great school and it's just nice to see that they're still being enjoyed and see all the colours and to see that they're going to be hopefully restored and got back to their former glory. So yeah, it's been a lovely day and very educational also. So just thanks to everyone. Thanks to everyone for finding and being interested in my grandma's work, really. We're all very proud of her, even though she didn't tell us anything about it. So <laughs> She was phenomenal at everything. She was good at making things and colours and she taught me so much. So yeah, a mixture of not surprised if you know what I mean, but then kind of taken about it. She didn't mention anything because she mentioned nothing about kind of any of her work, body of work before she was married. But she always kept it up throughout all of their lives. My dad's and his brothers and sisters, they all did art with her and making things. So while she didn't, you know, go on about it or show us what she did, it was always still present and very much, you know, current throughout everyone's lives and dealings with her. So. It's odd, I'm not gonna lie, it's <laughs> odd, but it's really great. And it's it's so nice to see them and, yeah, and everything's very pat. There's things in it, in the murals that are echoed throughout my childhood, things, things that I've made with her, which kind of have a similar link and similar colors she's used. The fish, for example, um, my dad, who was a puppeteer up until recently, she made him a puppet for one of his stories, which looks, pretty much exactly like the painting. So things like that are really nice, like a nice little connection. I think she'd be kind of chuffed about it, if not maybe, you know, a little shy. I don't know, she was very matter of fact, Pat, and, and you know, she didn't have embellishment on things she said or things she did. So I think she would have taken it all in her stride. I don't think she would have, you know, not liked it. I think she would have really enjoyed it. and. Yeah, I think we all feel slightly sad that it has literally just missed her and, you know, given her some right as a, you know, a warrant kind of artist in her own her own right, where she seemed to take a massive step back from that as soon as, she, you know, my dad and my, my uncle Michael, who's my dad's eldest brother, as soon as she became mother to them and then had her own kids, she did take, you know, a step back from her career. But I don't think that she would have, you know, been annoyed that it had been unearthed. I think she would have liked it. And I think, yeah, we, we, all, we all wish she, she could have, you know, known about it and such close timing, really, that, yeah, she's just passed away and then all this has come to light. So it's, it's a mixture of things, but that's life, isn't it? That is life. It's just really nice that people still, you know, recognise her work, because we've always obviously loved everything that she makes and does and, but it's nice to hear other people saying things and noticing similar things that we notice and so it's it's good but yeah it's timing wise it's a little little odd yeah but appreciated